Today's tale involves Siwan, Llewellyn, and William de Braose, known in Wales as Gwilym V. The story begins when Llewellyn captured William de Braose in fighting at the Comte of Kerry near Montgomery. He was ransomed for the sum of £2,000, which in today's money is about £1.5 million. Pounds, so a significant sum of money. As part of the arrangements, they arranged to have William's daughter Isabella marry Prince David. This occurred in 1228. After William had been released by Llewellyn, it was discovered that he had committed adultery with Siwan. And then in 1230, he was recaptured and publicly hung on the 2nd of May. Where it occurred is not actually known. It is probable that it took place at a place called Krogan, which is near Bala, although other evidence suggests it took place near Llewellyn's palace at Abba Gwyn Gregan. After William was hung, Siwan was kept under house arrest for 12 months. She then was forgiven by Llewellyn, uh, this is according to the Chronicle of Chester, and restored to Llewellyn's court and favour. Why this was particularly problematic for Llewellyn was that William was one of the Marcher Lords. The Marcher Lords were nobles who were appointed by, in this instance, King John, who had been the king at the time, to guard the Welsh Marches, which was the border between England and Wales. They had lordships over significant areas, including Shrewsbury, Pembroke, Hereford, Chester and Gloucester. They were first formed by William the Conqueror after he'd finished conquering England in 1066, and they remained all the way through until the Acts of Union were passed by Henry in 1542. The Marcher Lords were primarily known for building a large amount of castles, which is why Wales has the highest concentration of castles on the planet. There are more castles per square kilometre than anywhere else in the world. Even though there was a lot of hostility between the March Lords and the Welsh, there was a lot of intermarriage between them and the Welsh because they were nearby and it happens to have been a particularly effective way of minimising conflict for them. As part of this, you can see that Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry VIII, was descended from Griffith ap Madog, Griffith II specifically, through his daughter, who was a Harrod who married a March Lord known as William Le Botella of Wern. Shropshire. 